Okay, let's turn this into a loom. I'm using a floral hoop from Michael's, three ply rope, and some tape. Tape the tail of your rope onto the floral hoop. It doesn't have to look nice. It's not gonna stay there forever. And then start wrapping the rope around the entire hoop. I tape it so that the rope doesn't unravel as I do this. And then at the very end, I cut the tape off, finish it out, and tie the two tails of the rope together. At this point, you can also take your hands and see if there's any loose areas around the hoop and tighten them up if you need to. I tie a double knot with my two tails, and some people ask, well, what are you going to do with that giant knot? You just kind of push it to the back and hide it in your weaving, so you shouldn't have to worry about that once you get going. Get your warp string, and I like to tie it on right near where I tied my knot just so I have everything kind of in the same area, but you can start on the hoop wherever you want, really. Now take that warp string and bring it down to cut that hoop in half. You don't have to count this out, but try to get it as close as possible to the middle. Once you hit the middle, bring it right back up to that same spot you started at. Okay, bring it back down to the same spot, but don't tuck it in there. Go over two notches to the left. Loop it around and bring it back up to the top. Hit that same spot you just came from, but don't tuck it in. Go two notches to the right. And keep doing that. So you hit the spot, but, but then go over. Does this make sense? It's kind of easier if you watch it as well. Now you can space this out more than two notches if you want. I'm doing two because I like my warp strings close together to get detail. If you want them more spaced out, you can do two, three, four, whatever you want. Do this around the entire hoop. As you make your way around the hoop, you may notice you have a bit of leftover space on one side while the opposite side is completely filled out. There is a way to deal with this. See that small open section on one side, but the opposite side is completely done? This is how I do this. So I cut off a sizable amount of warp string, and instead of taking it up and around like this, don't do that, I am going to take it back through the warp strings and let it rest over the middle. Use the middle as an anchor to bring it back up and fill that empty space. That way I'm not double warping it on the other side. Now that your hoop is fully warped, we're gonna start tying off the middle. So first I just take the warp string and make some passes through. So I'm not tying knots here, I'm just passing it through and pulling it. And this creates the good tension that you need in order to weave on your loom. After I've made five or six passes, I will start tying knots to give it extra security. So here is my first knot going in. Just pull it tightly. Bam! Snip off the extra warp and you are ready to weave.